bad to squares here and I'm back with another video guys. So today I'm going to be doing my first story time ever. Woo! So I'm going to be telling you the story of how I became best friends with my scam. Also, please note this. This person has 100% stop scamming. I was friends with them when they stopped scamming. Um, and I haven't, I won't tell the user for the, for the name because, you know, privacy reasons. And the person actually gave me permission to tell the story. So yeah, I'm not just... You know, being rude to them. <laughs> this beautiful lineup hat so gave me for free. Thank you so much. That person, thank you so much. Incredibly. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so today I'm going to be telling you that story. Okay, so where do we begin? Okay, so I was in the pillow room just trading. Um, back then, I really wanted a rare raccoon tail, even though my stuff was really bad. I was kind of desperate for one. And there was this person with the rare raccoon tail. And I'm like, OMG, I can't believe that. And then they were saying around in pillow room. Taking offers for rare raccoon tail. Come to my den if you want to offer. So I went to the den and they were like, okay, so you two are both going to offer. And then you're going to trade me the items. What are you? And they had to choose an offer between me and another person. And they chose me because my offer was a lot better. And the other person was like, this is a scam anyways. And, um, and then he's like, no, it's not. Even though I was a little bit sus about it, but I still went along with it because I'm smart. Um, not really. <laughs> So I went there and the person was like, okay, so my trading is glitch. You know where this is going, guys. Um, and I can't trade you. And I can't trade you and you can't. And I can't trade you the item directly for it because my trading is glitch. But I'll give it to you tomorrow, the item. And obviously I didn't believe this. So I went into a huge conversation with them. I went through so many ideas. I don't know how long this went for, but I kept brainstorming ways of how to stop the glitch trading, even though I knew he was going to scare me. So instead, I was smart and I asked him about the store. And he said, yeah, the store worked. And he kept putting items in it, but removing them, saying that they were glitching out. Again, I did not believe this. I told him to put it on store for 70 sapphires and I would, and then I could trade and then he could, and then I could buy, and then I could buy it and trade him the items. But he put it on 700. Now, being my big boy brain, I told him to put it on for 7 sapphires. I thought he would put it on 70, but no, he actually put it on 7 sapphires around Rakuta. Which I still can't believe how someone could be so incredibly silly. Anyways, being a big boy brain me, the person said to trade the items and then I could buy it. Now... <laughs> I bought the item straight away because I knew that I was not going to scare them. I bought it. They were like, oh, would you give it back? And I, then I went. I sent them a trade request for their worst item. And I gave all the items I promised them for. And then, they were, and then they declined. And I was so shocked because they agreed for that trade to have all those items. And then they were like, no, give it back. Please, please, please. I'm like, isn't that what you wanted? Were you trying to scare me? And it turns out, yeah, they were. Feel sadness, cry. Um, Now... I found a mean person, so of course I gave the rare raccoon tail back, and they gave me a gift in, in return, which was a black spike and um, tiki throw, which they said was better, but it obviously was not. Uh, we traded the items, we buddied each other's. Um, occasionally I would go to the den and like talk a bit, and that occasionally turned into every day, and for so often we would talk here together. And it was really fun. I realized a rare raccoon was not a normal rare raccoon In fact, it was actually a Halloween. So yeah, um, if I stole that, um, I would probably come up. Um, if I actually traded the items, I think my offer was way over for that rare raccoon tail either way. So I still can't believe they declined. So yeah, uh, just tell, just letting you know that you can literally trust me with anything. Although please don't, because I don't want to be put with the pressure of being given dragon wings. Because, <laughs> yeah, my heart shakes too. Because I'm just so worried and my thing will glitch out or my battery will go down. Yeah, you can know what then. Anyways, so we started talking a lot more. And they were actually really rare. They had like rare fairy cups and stuff. And they were like really good trading buddy. We also like to play games. And every time we played a game, they were like, oh, I was a trader my heart. Because I like to see my buddies to win. And I was like, I was like, bruh, just, just do your best against me. I'm so sick of winning to you with you saying that nasty excuse. <laughs> it was really fun. Um, I made some really good trades with them, just saying. <laughs> and I got some good items in return. Yeah, that was very useful. Uh, we became really good friends and we started talking more, you know, playing and stuff. And I'm still friends with them today. They did quit for like a month or so, but now they're back, which I'm really, really happy about. 
we talk like every day like whenever they're on we talk we're like trading buddies it's so much fun <laughs> We also like to play games together and stuff, and it's been really good. They have completely stopped scamming and asked them later if they got any art from scam. And they said no, they gained nothing, and they've completely stopped it now. So, guys, don't even bother scamming. It's just a waste of time. Like, you could be doing trading, like, with trading, um, and a nice gifting. I got all these items just by trading, except I bought the Phantom Spike Club. Like, look at that red cool shoes. Like, those are so hard to get. So, yeah, my butterfly friends are in store, but who cares? So, yeah, guys, uh, that's it with the video, and I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy. Um, I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. It's more like my ultimate dream to get that. See, you guys, also, my grandparents are really complaining about my voice. I have really bad sinus, and I haven't and I've slept, like, six hours because I've been working on YouTube videos. Uh -oh.